Are you someone who is short-sighted or have astigmatism and have been told that LASIK or SMILE is unsuitable for your eyes? Then there is another option called ICL. I'm Dr. Malisa Ami, a consultant ophthalmologist at Sunway Specialist Centre Damansara, and today I will share with you a few information about ICL or implantable columnar lens. ICL, for some, it is known as implantable contact lens, but what it actually is, as it, it is an implantable columnar lens. It is a lens implanted into the eye to correct refractive errors um, such as short-sightedness or myopia and astigmatism. This is a procedure for those who like to be uh, less dependent on their glasses because then the eye will be able to see clearly without glasses once the ICL is implanted. So it's similar to LASIK and SMILE. However, LASIK and SMILE, what, it, what is done is the um, front tissue of the eye called the cornea um, is flattened by removing some tissue. But ICL is a lens that is actually implanted inside the eye behind your pupil, behind the iris and in front of the lens. So no tissue is actually being removed. ICL is uh, made up of collagen and polymer. So that's why it's called a columnar lens. So collagen is the natural tissue that makes up our cornea. Um, hence, this lens is well tolerated inside the eye. The advantages of ICL include uh, one, that it can correct a high power of short-sightedness or myopia. Um, the lens can correct up to minus 20 diopter of myopia. In comparison to LASIK or SMILE, because those procedures involve um, the thinning of the cornea, hence the power that being, can be corrected is limited. For example, if you're someone with a power of minus 10 or more, but you have a thin cornea, then LASIK or SMILE may not be suitable for you. Number two, ICL implantation does not involve any removal of tissue. So the cornea remains intact and hence there is no risk of um, developing corneal ectasia, which is irregular cornea. Number three, it is a reversible procedure. Uh, ICL is a very soft collagen lens and this can be removed in the future if needs be. ICL also does not cause dry eye syndrome because again it does not change uh, the integrity of the cornea. Therefore, if you are someone who wears glasses for short-sightedness or astigmatism and you're thinking of uh, procedures to reduce dependency on glasses, then ICL can be an option for you. Or if you have someone who has already gone for screening for LASIK and SMILE and you are told that you don't have enough corneal tissue, then ICL is also another option for you.